uh, again at 10,000, 20,000. Uh, he is on the button again and opens Jack of Diamonds, Nine of Hearts to 45,000, and I call on the big blind with Queen 10 suited of hearts. This time I have Niner to K. And the flop is King of Hearts, Ten of Spades, Three of Clubs, and I check call what is now a small bet from Ola, uh, 35,000 here. So I think his range to bet this flop is, is less polarized and more frequent, and so you see him using a smaller sizing there uh, with his gut shot. So I make the call of 35,000, and on a four of diamonds turn, I check, and Ola bets 120,000. And I like that Ola is betting some hands that are mediocre draws here as a double barrel. I do not think that he should double barrel all of his gut shots 100% of the time, but I imagine that Ola is similarly randomizing his decisions, and some percent of the time he's gonna use jack nine, Queen nine, uh, ace jack, ace queen as double barrel bluffs. And I think it's even better when he does it with a hand like this because it's going to force me to fold out uh, some ace highs and weak pairs. Whereas, you know, if he double barrels ace queen, I think it's dubious whether I would actually fold a better hand than that to him. Uh, maybe a little pair or something, but you know, I don't have that many threes that get to the flop. Uh, whereas when you double barrel jack nine, uh, you can force me into folding some stuff like an ace-jack or an ace-queen or not quite a queen-jack. I'm not going to fold that, although he bet so big he made it awkward for me. But I can fold some queen-high draws, all of which are ahead of his hand right now. And remember, just because he's firing the second barrel doesn't mean he's going to shut down on every river. Um, in this case, though, I make the call and we get an eight of diamonds river. And again, I imagine that Ole was probably randomizing here, that he was going to bluff some percent of the time. It's not a great run out for his hand. It's also not a terrible one. He basically would be triple barreling and saying, I have a king or better. And I think that you, Tony, would often check raise me on the flop with your stronger kings and your two pairs and stuff. So triple barreling here would be very reasonable. But again, if you just triple barrel every time you have a missed draw, you're doing it way too frequently, and anyone paying attention is going to call you down pretty wide. 